Okay, this is going to be a sample video uh, of the uh, second half of the Unit 7 Algebra 2 <coughs> sample test. Uh, this is mainly for uh, Senior Algebra 2 uh, and ESOL Algebra 2. Uh, if you're in regular Algebra 2, you can see past videos on how to do stuff. Okay, um, what we're going to do here, anytime we have a rational with multiple choice, what we're going to do is we're going to graph this. This is also a great technique to use on the SOL. So what I do is I put in, uh, I use the fraction button, x cubed minus 64 and x squared minus 16. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to draw it, take a look at it. I would check the y-intercept. It gives you a good indication. So there's two things you're looking for in the graph. Same shape and the same y-intercept. Okay, so I look at the shape, I look at, I look at that being 4. Alright, now I'm going to go through the answers. Alright, so first answer, x squared plus 4x plus 16. Bottom part is x plus 4. Okay, looks pretty close. Alright, that's pretty close. Now I'm going to check the other ones. Alright, next one is just x plus 4. Okay, that's definitely not my answer. Oops. Definitely not my answer. And this is what you do. Okay. Draw. You see that sort of, but that dips like that. So even though it's got the same y intercept, not the same shape. And then this last one. Okay, nowhere to be close. So, the best answer clearly is this. Okay? Okay, moving on to the next one. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and type the fraction in. Now instead of y, you can you can transpose and use x. Okay. <clears throat> instead of y, you can use x. Okay. So that's what it looks like. Uh, G solve y intercept. It's going to be at negative two. All right. And let's take a look at the answers. Okay, I think that's the same one. Yep. And if you try the other ones, okay, it doesn't look anything like it. Um, and then we'll, I'll show you one more. <clears throat> that last one is definitely not the answer. You can graph it and see for yourself. But just so the video it doesn't take too long, you show me typing everything. That doesn't look anything like it. So no good, no good, no good. Here's my answer. Okay, all right, moving on to this problem. Okay, that's like a double fraction. Okay, it's a double fraction. All right, so the way I would type that is I would go fraction up top. So fraction up top, go all the way to the bottom, put a fraction down there. All right, so I got 9, 2x plus 1. Down here, I got 2 thirds. Hit over, minus, fraction button, 5 over 2x plus 1. Here's what my drawing looks like. Okay, G solve y intercept, negative 2.07. So that, that shape, and that's what I'm going for. All right. Okay, now, shape looks close, wider stuff is not there, so that's that, that, that's out. Okay. Nope, not even close on that one. Let's go to this, this one. Oh, 
I typed that all wrong, huh? Yeah, that won't do good. Okay, that's not even close. The next answer just is 27. It can take off the X. There's my answer right there. So no good. Answer. Okay. So for the multiple choice, that's what you do. Okay. Moving on. <clears throat> All right. What I want to do is I want to use equal to factor everything. If I have a GCF, I'll get to what you do with those. Okay. So I'm going to use equal. Okay, so 3, 17, negative 6. Okay, so that would be 3x minus 1 and x plus 6. Okay, here I would use equal as well. x minus 6, x plus 6. Okay, now with the division, when I do this equal, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the result and put it under here. Oops. Not what I wanted at all. Okay. 1, negative 9, 18. And so that's going to be x minus 6 and x minus 3. So that's going to go underneath. Okay. And then this one, 2. Negative 1, negative 15. That's going to be x minus 3, and this will be 2x plus 5. Okay? Uh, you can ignore this, this stuff over here. So what I can do is I can eliminate these vertically, and these vertically. Diagonally nothing, diagonally nothing. Be careful. You don't want to eliminate these things because they're next to each other. So what I would have at the top, I would have 3x minus 1, and I would have 2x plus 5, and on the bottom I'd have x minus 6, and x minus 6. Those things stay the way they are. Okay? Alright? This one has already been factored for you. We just have to find the restrictions. Okay, vertically nothing, vertically nothing. Uh, diagonally, I can cross off the x plus 6's and the x plus 2's. Diagonally here, I can cross off x plus 5. So what I have up here is I have 3x minus 5, and I have 4x minus 7. Now, as far as the restrictions go, talk about this in class, the restrictions are what's, uh, what's in the denominator, the solution of that. So if I eliminate x plus 6, then that restriction would be negative 6. I cross off x plus 2, so the restriction would be x equals negative 2. I crossed off x plus 5, so that restriction is x equals negative 5. And the other thing I have to do is this restriction, okay? So that's going to be the solution to that would be 7 fourths, okay? Make sure you have opposite signs and you handle appropriately. Okay? Moving on to this question, okay? Here we can't factor that, okay? We can't factor that. That's going to stay the way it is. This we can use equal for. Okay, so that would be 1, 0, negative 49. Okay, so that's going to be x minus 7 and x plus 7. Okay, now, what you have to ask yourself, you make this little line here, because you can't do anything with this, what's this side missing that this one has? x minus 7, so I'm going to multiply here and here. Okay, what's the side missing? Nothing, so I'm going to leave that as it is. Now, what has to happen here is you have to treat that like a factor, which means i got to make a box... Multiply x plus 6 times x minus 7, which would be x squared, positive 6x, minus 7x, minus 42. Okay? Now, what I would do is I would write this all out on a row. x squared plus 6x minus 7x minus 42 because I actually have this additional 4 here that I have to account for all over my common denominator. Okay? So my like terms, x squared doesn't have any like terms, so I'm good there. 6 and negative 7 are alike. Six minus seven. So that's gonna be negative one x. Then I got negative forty-two and positive four. 
which would be negative 38, okay, all over uh, one side of this, which would be x minus 7 and x plus 7, okay? Moving on to the last problem, okay? So what I want to do here is I'm going to use equal for that. One, zero, negative one. That's x minus one, x plus one. Okay, here I can't use equal because it's not squared, but I could take out a three, and then if I take that, it'd be y minus one or x minus one. I'm just gonna use x to make it easier on myself, okay? So, what's this side missing that this side has? Pretty simply, just a three. What's this side missing that this one has? An x plus one. Now, what you have to be careful of, all right, three times well, x or three times y does not matter. All right, I'm using x's instead of y's. Three times that is that. Now, I have to treat that like a negative five. So when I multiply that, that's gonna be negative five x. Negative five times one is negative five, all over my common denominator, okay? So the like terms here are three, um, three x and negative five x. So three minus five is negative two, and I got the negative, so negative two x minus five, all over my common denominator are three, x minus one, okay? Uh, <clears throat> x minus one and x plus one, okay? I think that's it. Yep. So very simple video. First part's graph matching. The next part um, is pretty much making sure you get common denominators with the addition of subtraction. Elimination with multiplication, division. Make sure you flip that uh, second fraction uh, in, in division.